Well, I just thought of something else. I've, I've got plenty of hot air to share, so <laughs> I'm here to share my hot air with you. Um, okay, so uh, why couldn't I install FreeBSD on my new computer? I think it's uh, possible or con you know it's conceivable, but the installer itself doesn't have that capability, and my Audacity is just finished. And we'll just stop button, file, X, I mean, listen to this one. Um, let's call this class four, as, as I've called my tape. These were my college in 1991. And I'll just save it, and it'll, after you say OK, it'll go, well, you can only do sample rate 4800. OK, fine, that's what I'll do. Um, you know, eight minutes. Okay, so why couldn't I install FreeBSD on my computer? I, I guess I should talk about partitions in case you get to the point where you want to have more than one operating system on your computer and give yourself at least some experience, some choice. And um, okay, so in general, a hard disk in general could be cut up into as many parts as you want. But various operating systems have various restrictions upon, placed upon them uh, and cut up. What do you mean by cut up? Well, you can install one. Theoretically, you can install uh, one operating system in one distinct separate part of the hard disk, another operating system in a second distinct independent part, et cetera, et cetera, you know, depending on how big your hard disk is and how big the operating systems you're installing are, you know. Okay, but usually the rule of thumb is, you know, 10 gigs or 20 gigs per operating system, you should be fine, except for Windows. W Windows will probably need 40 or 50, and then you'll be fine. Um, the problem is that Windows operating systems, if you partition the disk, uh, it has to have some parameters, I think, in the master boot record that makes it so the disk can only be divided up uh, into four parts at most, at least primary parts. But it has a function where if you want to divide uh, the remaining three parts into four parts, you can do that. And those parts and other parts, and so you can see it gets to infinity, but Okay, so those main parts are called primary part primary partitions, and the smaller parts within the main parts are called logical partitions. And NetBSD, NetBSD, NetBSD's installer doesn't have the capability of setting up the partitions, or what it calls slices, uh, within a slice <laughs> in, in its parlance, or a partition in the, the DOS par parlance. So you can't install FreeBSD from the installer in a logical partition. If I were to find that one of my logical partitions happened to be formatted in the the uh, FreeBSD file system, and I could mount that file system, and I can copy files into it, and I'd read-write ac read write access to it, and then I could set up Grub to look for the bootloader in the correct partition, and I... And I I'd be able to boot into FreeBSD. I'd be able to, I'd be able to work with it. I mean, it, it it's possible. I think so. It's not impossible, but it's, for all practical purposes, not reasonable to do. Um, these are all the different packages that it install. And, and you know, if you're not really familiar with with, with Linux, uh, the people that make these packages just call these packages whatever the hell come, they, they they pull out of their ass, really. Some of these packages are supporting packages. Uh, some of the packages are main packages. And some packages won't be full featured unless they have other packages that are these smaller packages to work right. Like this fonts, you know, you want your gold. <laughs> Ghost, these is Ghost Scripts fonts. Ghost Script is both a printing tool and a. Um, it also allows you to see PDF files. It's part of the whole scheme that allows you to see PDF files with a program like XPDF. Um, I don't know if it's that we're in the P's or not, or what. GNU, maybe GNU Privacy Guard, which is uh, 
security program where you, you, you have your own unique uh, uh, security key that can only be decrypted if someone else knows what it is so they know the message is from you. That's the only security it really provides. And some of the stuff.